Today was a speed day. I'm going to start off my bench press with uh, 95 pounds and I'm, I have 115 pounds of band tension attached to the bar. The advantage of the bands is they're faster than gravity. So the bar is coming down extremely quick. The faster I press it, the faster I can get it to lock out, the more energy I have to generate. So it's actually working the top half of my bench press. I then proceeded to 135. Remember that's 115 of band tension. And I cranked out five reps. Now today I'm not gonna go extremely heavy. I'm just gonna work on moving the bar as fast as I can and work on my form. I'll then follow that with uh, five sets of five with 155 pounds. If you do a speed day, you want to use a weight that's not really super challenging. I'd say you want to keep it anywhere from 50 to maybe 70% and just work on the speed and form. You don't want to turn it into a maximum effort day. Also, I'm bench pressing with a little bit closer grip just to get a little bit of uh, tricep work in there and also to just stimulate the muscles in a different way. My rest periods between these sets is usually a minute or less. As you can see, my hands are a little closer to normal. Just concentrating on getting the bar off my chest as fast as I can. Then afterwards, I went to do some dumbbell flat bench presses. Not really heavy today, just uh, three sets of 12. Just get blood flowing. I'd already done bench press earlier in the week, so there was really no need to really go any heavier. Just concentrate on getting the, bar, the dumbbells all the way down and all the way back up. The rest period between these is I'd say a minute, maybe a little bit more, but nothing excessive. I don't really time myself. I just do them for rest as long as I think I need and just do the next set. crank out the sets. I used to go heavier on speed day but that did interfere with my maximum effort day. So nowadays if I do a speed day it's always moderate weight. I then followed that with dumbbell side laterals. I did three sets of 10. I like to do them seated nowadays. I feel that, that I can really work on my side delts with that and eliminate some momentum. Not all momentum, but some momentum. When I'm doing side laterals, I'm trying to basically concentrate on raising my elbows first, and then followed by my wrist. Then I did incline dumbbell kickbacks. Yes, kickbacks. This exercise is not used that often. The way I'm doing them is I'm doing them really slow making sure to get my contraction at the top of each of the kickbacks. This is a great exercise to do every once in a while just to add some variety. Once again I did three sets of 15 reps. You could do these as a finisher type exercise or you could just do it as a main tricep exercise but I would go heavier if I did it that way. Then follow that with press downs. Two sets of 10 Make sure to bend my knees a little bit because I want to be able to push the strap all the way down and I really want to work those triceps. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thank you.